Semicolon? Oh, we have the IOCCC prize in Virtuous Quietus, which sounds very much like a Harry Potter spell. <laughs> well, um, and the Virtual Quietus is a, Quietus is actually a reference to a Roman individual that was, um, to say they were antisocial would be an understatement. They were seen, Quietus was seen as essentially a harbinger of doom, and they didn't care, uh, and they had the uh, backing behind it to do some very doomy like things. So, but that I give the author a hint as to who won the prize in this virtual quietus. Well, let's find out. And the IOCCC prize in virtual quietus goes to Ilya Kurtikin. Well done, Ilya, for your super hat trick. Your fourth uh, uh, win of IOCCC. Again, this is all anonymous. We don't know who who does what, and we were surprised as well to see another amazing oh. piece of code from Ilya. And, and we way, just realized um, that we, we just realized that there is a spoiler in the list of pre previous meeting IOCCC entries. So it's one, two, and four, which means that there will That's be correct. number three. Well, well, this is number three. No, this is not a spoiler. <laughs> this is number three. So it was done deliberately that way. Um, so this is his fourth um, entry. Um, that it will, when you see on the source code, you'll see um, you know, the, the directories. And by the way, um, for those who uh, are not as fluent in Russian as you are, can you again, can you pronounce his name properly? Leo? <laughs> Gotta lean in. Yeah. You lean lean in and 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 talk slowly. Ilya Kordukov. 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 Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I pronunciation of your name, um, but the code is impressive. And uh, again, um, it. So you saw he had the one, which was the um, uh, the, the faith periodicity of that moon. Uh, number two was his art restoration. Um, number four, we just saw was that embiggening thing with those expressions. And now we have this code. And this is a fun piece of code. So let's, let's go forward and see how you compile it. And compiling it, um, this is particular one where we're compiling it with X11. There's also an STL2 uh, variant as well. This is just stuff on my system to find the X11 libraries. Your system, it may vary. There's an FAQ on how to compile with X11. Another uh, FAQ about SDL2. Um, but that's the, that's essentially what's going on here. If we look at the code itself, it looks like this. Now, this is also kind of a desk. I don't know. Is this, is this another um, desk on the side or a restoration? What do you think? Uh, Leo. <laughs> well, this, this looks like an assault rifle turned up with a very big and a very big magazine. <laughs> or it's a desk, a desk on a shelf. It could be also could be like this is your dishwasher. No, this is this is yeah. our, 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 our um, this is your um, you know, cube, cube meter dishwasher. And these are the shelves where your soap and stuff sits. I don't know it, it, you 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 have to be um, determined what it does. But um, when you look at it, in the Clang format, um, you'll get some more things. Basically, it's a single main. There's all this main stuff with these macros over here. Um, and you can tell in looking at the code, you can see that it's doing some stuff with direct displays. It's doing some sort of graphical um, display operations. It's putting on an image here. Um, with some async stuff. So it's definitely window manage based stuff, which can be done either in X11 mode or there's also a version which does SDL2. And when you run this program with Hello World, you, you could say Hello World. You can decompress 
or you can run with doom minus p and it actually runs the the doom engine so this particular thing is the is a doom demo again it's it's doing the virtual machine this is that you see the virtual machine going on here with a doom demo and that's kind of that's kind of fun but uh you can also actually have a version which you can say i want to actually run the game now this game doesn't have a mouse or a sound but it does have the things so you can go down here you say read this and it shows you the the key codes if you forget those and so i decided to load a new game and go into nightmare uh because why not and so here i'm going through live going around here you can aim and and you gotta you gotta get right there and aim and, and blow up stuff but you don't get too close uh, you can go down the corridor to open up the the door and you find that there's monsters there or baddies which you kind of shoot at and you can kind of do things but they are pretty accurate and uh you then step over some things but you're too weak and die um you can do better i was just a a quick dirty demo but again this virtual machine is capable of doing hello world compression or even running the the actual doom game um quite an impressive feat given how compact that virtual machine is. Well done. And congratulations on your super hat trick. Ilya, quite a, uh, this is the second C contest in a row that you've done a, a super hat trick. Well done. Thanks for watching. And before you go, please like and subscribe and check out the social media links in the description below. And if you like, you can support us on Patreon to help us bring you new content so you may enjoy our favorite universe even more.